Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ala ba'd ayyul habita fillah as a reminder to not backbite one another and to be cautious about what we say with our tongues because it's so easy for us to fall into the sin of backbiting and speaking about others and speaking about others without knowledge or without the right to do so and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and protect us from those those sins ameen ya rabbil alameen Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem wa la yaghtab ba'dukum ba'dha Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and do not backbite one another in Surah Al-Hujurat. And Marra Nabiyu Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Ala Qabarain Faqala inum hulli yu'adhiban Wa ma yu'adhiban fi kabir Amma ahaduhuma fakana la yastatiru min al-bow Wa ma al-akhiru fakana yamshi bin namima Faakhada jiridatun rutbatun Fashaqa al-nisfain Fagaraza fi kulli rabit Fi kulli qabarin wahidatun فقلنا يا رسول الله لما فعلت هذا قال لعله يخفف عنهما ما لم يبسا رواه بخاري إن حديث ابن عباس رضي الله تلا عنه أو رضي الله تلا عنهما he said that the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم was walking by two graves and he said verily they're being punished and they're not being punished for something which uh, is, is big or great in the eyes of the people. As for one of them, they used to not clean themselves when they used to urinate, you know, used to not clean themselves properly. And as for the other, they used to spread namima, spread uh, tales in order to spread wickedness throughout the community. So then the Prophet Sallallahu or he grabbed two wet branches and he broke them in half. Or he grabbed a branch and he broke it in, in half while it was still moist. And he planted it on each one of the graves. And they said, Ya Rasulullah, O Messenger of Allah, why did you do this? Why did you do that? And the Prophet Sallallahu responded, he said, this is in order that perhaps it will, while it's still moist, it will give them some relief from their punishment. Ahabatifillah, again, this illustrates for us the danger of spreading wickedness throughout the community. And this comes with our tongues, by lying, uh, cursing people, speaking ill of people, speaking things that are not true about others, or just plain old doing uh, ghibah and slander of others. وَأَخْرَدَ الشَّيْخَانِ أَنَّ النَّبِيَ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمَ قَالْ فِي خُطْبَتِهِ فِي حُجَّةَ وَضَعَ وَضَعَ إِنَّ دَمَاعَكُمْ وَأَمْوَالَكُمْ وَأَعْرَادَكُمْ عَلَيْكُمْ حَرَامٌ كَحُرْمَةَ يَوْمِكُمْ هَذَا فِي شَرِّكُمْ هَذَا the Prophet ﷺ said in his farewell pilgrimage, alayhi salatu wasalam, he said, Verily, your blood and your wealth and your honor is prohibited or is sacred. Similar to the sanctity of this day and of this month, and of this locality. Have I not given the message, delivered the message? So again, Habit of it shows us that the honor of the believer and the wealth of the believer and the blood of the believer is sacred. So we should not trample on one another's honor. And we should not spill one another's blood. And we should not steal one another's wealth. And in fact, we should be righteous mu'mineen. We should be believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And brothers, as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Al-Muslim akhul Muslim yushidduhu ba'duhu ba'da. 
that the Muslim is the brother to the Muslim, and they strengthen one another. Ahabatifillah Ruya ibn Abi Dunya wa Bayhaqi and the Nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal al ghibatu wa shadd min al zina qila wa kayf qala rajul yazni thumma yatub fa yatubu Allah alayhi wa sahib al ghiba la yaghfir lahu hatta yaghfir lahu sahibahu qala al mundri wa ashbahu annahu mawquf so this is a hadith which is mentioned narrated on the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam but it is mawquf on a sahabi that the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said as was narrated by ibn abi dunya and bayhaqi that he said that ghiba or backbiting is worse than adultery or fornication and then it was said to him, and how is that? He said, a man will commit adultery or fornication, but then he will make toba. he will repent, and Allah will accept his repentance. But the one who does, who backbites, Allah will not forgive him until his companion that he had backbitten forgives him. So Habatifillah, this hadith here, although we don't know the authenticity of it, it illustrates a sound and sahih principle. So meaning that it's sahih in its meaning. That ghiba, as we mentioned, when it requires for, from us uh, to make toba, the conditions for toba that we have to be determined, we have to leave the sin. We have to be determined not to go back to the sin. And we have to, uh, you know, distance ourselves from those sins. And if the sin involves another individual, then it requires for us to, to the right of another individual, like their honor, then it requires for us to gain their forgiveness, to make a complete toba. And so the meaning here is sound, and it illustrates for us that principle as the Prophet, as is attributed to the Prophet ﷺ, that the person who commits backbiting will not be forgiven until the one he has backbitten forgives him, letting us know but that was his right, that you trampled on his honor. So that's why it's imperative, ahabati fillah, to not backbite one another and not eat the flesh of one another and not destroy the honor and reputation of one another. And that it only becomes permissible or one of the cases in which it becomes permissible and not to go beyond the bounds, not to trans transgress the bounds and be oppressive, but when it comes to warning the community about the harm of an individual, either the bid'ah that they have be, uh, began in the religion or that they propagate in the religion or a new statement or new ideology that they are propagating in the religion, then in this case, it is permissible to speak about them and warn the community against their harm and their bid'ah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything that I said was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.